a battery that's powered by human sweat. Scientists from Nanyang Technological University have developed a stretchable battery that uses perspiration to power wearable devices. The battery, which is fixed on sweat absorbent material, can be easily attached to wearable devices like watches or arm straps. Based on in-lab testing, a 2 by 2 centimeter battery can last for about 20 hours with 2 milliliters of artificial sweat. Researchers are saying that it offers a more sustainable alternative compared to traditional batteries that are made of harmful chemicals. For more insight on this, we're joined now by Professor Li Puisi. She is from the NTU School of Materials Science and Engineering. Professor, who would have thought that sweat could power batteries? This is, you know, boggles the imagination. How is it even possible? Yeah, indeed, it is an exciting discovery on our end. And uh, we realize uh, that the use of sweat, it acts as um, aqueous electrolyte that is helping uh, the transport of electrons between the cathode and the anode of a battery. And in this case, we are demonstrating this by using a zinc oxide as uh, the cathode and then, um, as, and then another uh, uh, silver oxide as the cathode and the zinc as the anode. Uh, in the presence of the perspiration, basically electron transport can occur. And in addition to that, the presence of uh, sweat also allows a sintering of the silver current collector or conductor, which uh, leads to uh, improved uh, conductivity uh, upon stretching. So these are the key findings uh, that is based on this work. Professor Lee, how much perspiration are we talking about? How much is needed to power the battery uh, for an hour, say? For, uh, and how much electrical energy is actually saved in the process? Mm -hmm. So in the lab test, we are basically uh, using a printed battery on a um, fabric that allows us to just use uh, two milliliter of uh, perspiration or artificial sweat. Uh, to power uh, this uh, battery that could last a uh, discharge uh, for 20 hours. It's about 4 milliampere uh, hour. And of course, if we are able to um, maximize the area of this uh, fabric, it can uh, go up to 16 milliampere hour uh, that allows us to um, use it to power many other uh, electronic devices. So, Professor Lee, you don't need very much sweat to get this going, two milliliters of, of sweat for many hours of battery life. But where should people perhaps be wearing their device with this stretchable battery to get the maximum effect? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in fact, um, we uh, human produce sweat, not just uh, uh, during exercise, even when um, during humid uh, weather, uh, we also secrete uh, sweat on our palms as well as our feet. Um, and of course, if the intensity of exercise would be higher, uh, then the production of sweat rate will certainly increase. And in this case, it's certainly beneficial in uh, providing a faster charging uh, of the battery. And um, many locations of human bodies actually have sweat, such as the palm, the forehead, the neck, uh, the armpit even, and of course, uh, the sole of the feet. And how does your battery differ from conventional batteries then? Uh, why would we want to, why wouldn't we just keep using those? Mm -hmm. Because uh, for this uh, battery that we are, um, are working on, it doesn't contain any toxic or harmful chemicals, which are basically present in the current, um, for example, lithium ion batteries uh, that uses uh, the uh, presence of organic electrolyte and um, in our battery, it, we don't use uh, such uh, electrolyte or chemicals. And more importantly, it doesn't contain any uh, toxic heavy metal uh, that would lead to uh, environmental issues. Uh, the sustainability, um, it's crucial here. And therefore, uh, we would like to continue the development in this aspect. IP protection is going to be important for this innovative a discovery in this development, uh, Professor Lee. How far is your team getting along with your effort to get it patented? Because we know that's in process. And are there plans as well to perhaps develop this product further? 
Mm -hmm. So the IP uh, filing has been um, applied uh, and it will take some time for the evaluation. Uh, the novelty here is on the hydrophilic uh, binder that we have created to enhance the conductivity of the stretchable uh, metallic conductor that allows this battery to be soft conformer on the human skin and able to power uh, various um, electronic gadgets. And uh, we hope that in the future development, we will integrate this with various uh, sensors uh, so that it can benefit humankind for, for example, monitoring of um, uh, human physiology in many remote areas or underdeveloped places, as well as for disease or monitoring of other um, in inflammation or issues uh, related to human health. Professor Lee, thank you very much for sharing more on this exciting development uh, with the NTU team. We've been speaking there to Professor Lee Puisi from NTU's School of Material Science and Engineering.